it's Kay in front of the camera. And Maggie behind. <coughs> okay, and this is our tiny world of cool cats um, mini boxes. And these ones are designed for food. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I need, like cereal boxes. So they come like that one and then you fold the little flaps in and then you can stick them down like that. Okay, they, they won't fit down, fit a flush there, so they're designed to do that. Exactly <coughs> like a cereal box. Like a cereal box, yeah, exactly. So that is about the one in 12 size. And then we go down to the one 12, tw uh, 20, sorry, the one 20 and 24 size scale. And then this is a one in between. So it's like those. Goldilocks and three bears. It is. So if I put those together, you can see them, see, see the sizes that you mm -hmm. get. Okay, so you get three dies, and then <coughs> one, e one die each cuts out a box. So I'll just show you how to put one together. So I'll use the bigger one so you can actually see what we're doing. So I've cut this out, and as you can see, it's got score lines on it. Can you see yeah. those if I just wiggle them around yeah, a bit? Yeah, you can. Okay, so all you do is fold the score lines together. So I squidge them up by fi my fingers first. What weight of card, Kay? This is quite a lightweight card. This, I'll say this is probably out of 120, 140, I think. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> the smaller the box, the, le the lighter the weight card you need. So for the ti this tiny little one, you could probably get, you might even get away with um, copy paper, but I'll probably do at least 100 GCSM. I was going to say 100 boxes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be a labour of love. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, if you've cut them out and you're you're just sitting in front of the telly or something. Yes, yeah. I'm saying yeah, you can have a session in front of the TV. Mm. So I'm just all I'm doing. I'm not just folding the fold, the um, creases over, the the score lines over. Okay, so now I've got that. Now I'm going to make them nice and sharp using the Teflon tool. So give it a good squidge. <coughs> and the same on the other side. So can you see the difference? You can see the difference between yeah. the two, so that's the reason why we do it. It just makes everything <coughs> fit together easier as well. Yeah, and you get a nice, nice you don't get a skew with box either. No. Okay. Nice crisp finish. So that goes like that. Let's do each of the sides. Oops. So if you're doing these for cereal boxes, you can get downloads of um, packaging. Good yeah. actually, whoops, get your own packaging and scan it in and reduce, reduce it down in your computer, I should think. Mm. I've not tried it, but you, there's no reason why you can't. Right, so when you get to that, that point, take all your flaps out, apart from this one on the end, push that one down, and you're going to put some glue on there and fold that up like that. So you've got that nice and sh straight across there, and then you'll know you're going to have a nice... Uh, square box, well, rectangle box. Cool. What glue are you using, Kay? So I'm using PVA and I'm using our bookbinding glue, but a good PVA bookbinding, quick, fairly quick grab glue is yeah. good. <coughs> you could put a bit of double tape on there, but quite, it's, it's easier to use glue, actually, because there's only small flaps. And it doesn't matter how good tape is, I still think glue is better for boxes. For this, this type, yeah. yeah. Although, to be honest, you won't be opening them up too often, will you? They are for decoration. No. So if you just squidge that in I'm there like that. presents in there. <laughs> Mm. You, you get could those, get you, a leaf, get those little tiny chocolates. Yeah, I do you know. I was just thinking like that. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, yes, you, yeah, you can get chocolates that size. Yes, you, you can. Well. No. So <clears throat> that is your outside box done. So you get your flaps done. So just move those back, put the side ones in, and if it's a bottom one, you can just give it a bit of a glue. So you, all you do is put a little bit of glue across here. And as you said when we when you were talking about the dies. It's not designed to be flushed to the other end, is no, it? No, it's because it's, it's it's designed like a cereal box. Yes. So you put that across, and then just let's hold that in place. So you can put that down there, and if you wanted to squidge that sh um, thing, you can use tweezers, or we can use our mini tool, mini pencil tool. But this one is ideal, so you can put that in and give it a good squidge down. And then for the smaller boxes, just use the pointy bit end. Then you know you've got a nice firm um, contact with the glue. There you go. So can you just show us that the other end that you've stuck so people can see that it doesn't um, stick up to the... There you go. Yeah. Okay. And this... <coughs> so you could actually put 
cereal, rice or whatever in it. You can put that and then seal it if you want to or leave it open depending on what you want to do with your Ooh, Do you remember the old fashioned um, soap powder packets? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could yeah, you can yeah, you could do that. Um yeah. Omo or whatever it was. Uh, Surf. Omo washes white, I think. Yes. There was a thing, if you put one on those window cells, an old man out or something. Yes. <laughs> but of course, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I didn't know that thing. You educated me there. Okay, it's a, a that, secret code. And on that note, is that the end? That's the end. Goodbye. Bye.